channel for today's video as you can tell from the title we are finally doing a review on this Celine tote bag so the full name of this which is a doozy uh, is the Cabas drawstring Cui Triomphe in smooth calfskin so I got this about a year ago ish and this is one of my favorite bags to travel with if I need to work in the city and I'm bringing a lot I will bring this along with me. If you're new here, my name is Lil Selenor. Any of these kinds of luxury fashion related videos as well as vlogs. So if you like the vibe here, please hit that subscribe button as well as notifications will set you and I post new videos. And let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, so I spotted this bag at Bergdorf's. I wasn't really shopping for a bag, but when I saw this, I hadn't seen it before and I just fell in love with how subtle this was. The only other tote that I would really travel with would be my Goyard in the GM, but there were times when it just felt a little too flimsy or if I didn't want a pattern. And so I really, really loved how this looked and I also just fell in love with how deep these straps are. This makes it very easy for this to be styled during the winter. When a tote has a bit more restriction around the arms, that makes it harder to wear when I'm layering during fall and winter with coats and puffer jackets. I really love this and I just like how simple the design is. The drawstring I do not adjust, although you can. Um, I have just always kept it as is. I like that it kind of helps the bag from gaping open as much as say my Goyard tote and inside it is, let me take out my dust bag, inside it is lined with suede. Can't really see, but it does have one interior pocket in the back and that's just a great place to put your card holders because when you do have a black bag, it becomes a black hole. This is one of the bags where I do not have an insert. I do have other organizers that can fit, not a perfect fit, but uh, gets the job done if I need a little bit more organization. Again, this is mainly for travel, so what goes in this bag would be my laptop, a notebook, my camera, and then if you have seen my previous videos for like what's in my bag, I tend to have this Kriana pouch that goes from bag to bag just because it can easily hold all of my little bits and bobs, lactate pills, cables, pens, shot wipes, all the loose things just so that it's a little bit more condensed and it also helps me stay very organized. So I love traveling with an extra little pouch that can just go from bag to bag. Pricing of this bag is at $29.50 now. I don't know if that was the price when I got it. Uh, I can't remember. But they also do have a smaller version of this now that is at $25.50. And the smaller one can be worn as a crossbody. I will say that for the silhouette, I feel like it looks best as a tote. I've also seen this in the tan and a canvas version as well. The leather is on the more delicate side. I have noticed a bit of wear on mine. So if you look, where is it? If you look here, I have some scratches right there. I don't know if you can see that. Just like right there. But again, nothing too obvious. The corners are still holding up really well and I've traveled with this through multiple airports and brought this on multiple work trips. And it's just a great go-to bag to kind of carry around. I think I will actually be using this for my upcoming trip um, just because I plan on getting a lot of work done at like cafes and bringing my computer around. So I think this would just be an easy way to go. So now I'm gonna show you what fits inside this as if I was actually going to pack it. When I travel for work, I tend to bring around my MacBook Air. My editing computer is a 16 inch pro, which tends to get really heavy. So I don't really bring that around unless I have a lot of heavy editing to do. Uh, so this is the 13 inch and it fits nicely in here. This is also a Celine sleeve that I got a year ago, I think. I think the 16 inch could fit in here as well if I stretched these out or if I had a very slim case. I'm gonna put my planner in here, my Kriana bag that has all the little bits and bobs in there. And then I can easily pack in my little vlog camera and that's all I really need. If you are carrying a lot of heavy things, obviously the bag is gonna get heavy. The straps are fairly thin, so they may dig into your shoulder. However, when I'm traveling like this, it's usually like sitting on top of a suitcase and I'm rolling it anyways. Again, because of the length of this drop, 
It makes it really easy to wear when you have bulky sweaters or you have a thick jacket or coat. I have already seen this bag on the pre-loved market, so I will link it down below. If you are a bit rougher on the bags, the material might not be your best friend. You might start to see a lot of wear around the edges. I definitely don't see myself being as carefree with this bag as, say, my Goyard bags, just because I feel like that coated canvas helps make it a little bit more durable. I don't have to worry about it as much, especially in the rain, I don't have to worry about it. This one, you, you're not gonna wanna get caught in the rain with this one. So because of the nature of this leather, it does make it a little bit more sensitive. This is a smooth calfskin rather than grained, uh, which is what my Celine Sangles were. I have really loved bringing this bag around and it has been super great to travel with. Yeah, I mean, every bag has its pros and cons. The biggest one for me would definitely just be the nature of this leather. And if you are rougher with your bags, it might not be the one for you if you want something that's a little bit more durable. I don't know how well this is gonna hold up in say like five years from now. But for now, I just really love traveling with this. I haven't had any issues with it at the airports or anything like that. It tucks nicely underneath the seat in front of me, although I do bring a canvas tote so that my bags are protected when they go through security and when they're sitting on the floor. Just something to keep in mind and also good to have a extra tote bag to travel with when you are in another country. This was a super short review just because there really isn't too much to say about this bag. I hope this isn't one of the bags that they plan on doing a price increase for because I feel like it's fine where it is price-wise. If you are looking on getting the smaller one, you don't get to fit as much and for $400 more, you get a full-size tote that you can get a lot more use out of if you are looking to add a tote to your collection. Currently only comes in the tan and black and that canvas, I believe. I don't know if they're still currently doing that. But yeah, I've loved bringing this tote around. Again, the really subtle triumph is a nice little touch and I like that it's not too loud and obvious. Again, I will have links down below to any pre-loved finds or any brand new links that I have. Uh, if you are looking for this one, I don't believe black is available online, but if you have a sales associate at Celine, you should be able to track one down. I saw one recently a few weeks ago, so I know that it's coming in and out. It just might be the more popular color that they're releasing but would love to see this in a couple more colors just because I feel like it's such an underrated bag. There is some structure at the bottom of it, so you're never going to see it kind of darting down the way a Goyard would if it doesn't have an insert. All right, well, that's all for me. I hope you found this video helpful in case you've been eyeing this bag, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.